everybody. Say hi, Sam. Hi. Sam is joining me again for another video. Her and her sister Hannah are just my favorite kids of all time. They're just so cute. I don't know what to do without them. So, um, okay, the new craze are rainbow cakes. And last month I did one with red and white and blue. Just for 4th of July, it really did help. Um, and, and then I started experimenting with it because I was so busy on 4th of July and I found out, oh my gosh, I love them. And it can make your life so easy. So what I'm gonna do is just take my rainbow cake. And this one has like two shades of blue and pink and white in it. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a half butterfly face with some flowers. And then that way you can just see what I'm doing um, and, and get some ideas from it. Ideas from it. So what I'm going to do is take my rainbow cake, I'm going to take a half sponge damp, of course, and I'm just going to swipe it across, okay? You want to make sure you retrieve enough paint when you're swiping it. Now the blues in my palette are a little bit similar, um, but I, I like this color combination. I like how it blends. A little bit. I'm going to start in the corner of the eye, and I just am going to press the color down. Now, because of the way that I did this, it's automatically going to blend it for me, which is why I love these rainbow cakes. They just make my life so easy. Now, since I made the wing going up, if I were to just switch it and start heading down, I'm going to have opposite. So what you need to do is flip your sponge around and load this side now so that you'll have it so that it, it's all going to match up and line up. Load my sponge. And then what I'm going to do, close your eye for me, is I'm just going to lay my sponge down like I did before and press in the color. So now I have the first wing, okay? So I'm just going to repeat that. I'm going to repeat another wing right on top of it. So now I have the first wing, the second wing, and what I'm going to do on this side is create a little bit of a an eye design so that I can create some flowers around it. So next I'm just going to load my sponge again with my rainbow cake. And what I'm going to do is close your eye for me. I'm just going to press in the color so that I get a nice blend in her eye. Just going to keep that right around her eye. Now, to finish this design up, I'm just going to create the outline on the body and create some swirls and curls and some flowers, still using my rainbow cake, and finish it off. So this is another variation of a butterfly, and butterflies are always going to be popular. It doesn't matter what day, age, adults, kids, everybody likes butterflies. So, what I'm going to do, if you can close your eyes for me, lift your head up a little bit, I'm going to start in the corner of the eye by just pressing my brush down and wiggling, that's going to be the head to my butterfly. Going to lay my brush down and pick up to make the body. Turn a little bit that way so that you can see. Next, I'm going to create the antenna by holding my brush very straight, coming up, pressing down, twirling in, and twirling in again. Now for me, I like to create the body first, and the reason is because then I know where I need to go from there. Everybody is different. I really encourage you to find your groove when it comes to body. So turn a little bit more that way. Thank you. So then I'm going to start in the corner of the eye. I'm going to head up through the eyebrow, lay my brush down, and pick up. Then I'm going to start off very straight, straight, lay my brush down, and pick up to make the bottom of the wing. From the top of the top wing, I'm going to lay my brush down, pick up. So I draw one giant teardrop. Doing great. I'm just going to outline that a little bit more. From that teardrop, I'm going to make a twirl and bring it in. And I'm going to make another twirl on that wing, wiggle and bring it in. You can turn a little bit more. Thank you, Sam. So what I did is teardrop, twirl, bring it in. You can even add an extra layer in there if you want to. Same thing goes here. Layer, layer, layer. 
From this area right here on the outside of the bottom wing, I like to start from the bottom. Some people prefer to start from the top. If you want, start from the top by all means. If not, then what I'm going to do is just create three teardrops in the corner of the eye, bring it down, curl it in, wiggle it, and bring it up. Again, I'm creating an interior layer right there. Just on the tip so that I don't have too much of a strong line in between. Now, if you notice, I did get a little excess on the outside here and here. There's several ways you can cover it up. I mean, nothing is perfect, by all means. Um, I'm not a perfect painter, but some ways to just fix that is, can you turn a little bit that way? I'm going to just create a starburst. There, a little bit that way, and here, and that way it's not as noticeable. Once you get really good with your rainbow cakes, then you won't even have to worry about the overage. Next, what I'm going to do is from the corner of this eye, can you turn a little bit for me, Sam? See this nice blend? What I'm going to do is just create some swirls and curls to just fill in. Teardrop, 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 teardrop into the corner of the eye. Going to bring it down in the, in the front right there and add some dots. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm going to take a petal brush, which is like a flat brush, and I'm still going to use my rainbow cake that I was using. I'm just using two colors by double loading them. And all I'm going to do is lay my brush down, wiggle, lay my brush down, wiggle, lay my brush down, wiggle, just so that I can get some flowers. And I'm just making small ones, nothing big. No method to my madness. And you can even get smaller as you head to your butterfly. So to finish it off, I'm just going to add some more white. I'm not going to go into a whole bunch of detail with this. I like to show how you can keep it simple and it still look good. Or to me, it still looks good. So I'm just going to add a few dots inside of these flowers. Turn a little bit that way. Thank you. And then if you want, give it a little bit of an outline, a little bit of a swirl and curl. just to kind of fill up this design, especially if you're charging per face and you want to just make sure you add more. So I'm just going to add some of this metallic red. I just love this color from the Wolf Brothers. It's just the perfect color to do lips with. And if you wanted to, just for an extra step, you can add a little bit of this pink shimmer powder right where you want it. This is what I use for the cheeks. Just put it right on top of it. And then also, of course, if you wanted, this is a definite extra step. I would use my rainbow cake because you can use it as paint. That's the beauty. I mean, this is paint. So if you wanted to just go in there with your paintbrush rather than just a sponge, you can still go in there. And if you wanted to, I'm just going to just add a few highlights using the pink just to jazz it up and bring some more of that pink in there. And to finish it off, I have no choice. I got to add glitter. You like glitter? Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm just using this high chroma silver glitter. Um, it looks like white, but it's just like extra sparkly. It's my favorite color. All right, so then you're all done. I can show you in the mirror. First, you got to wait to everybody. Say bye. Bye.